Hello everybody! How you guys doing? You're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Noel Abingwa and on my YouTube channel I talk about immigration to Canada, I talk about life in Canada, studying in Canada and um, everything Canada. But more importantly, um, I share about my immigration story, how I was refused a visa twice and what I did the third time to get approval. And um, I share with you steps that you can take in order to leave, study, work or visit Canada. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're interested in these topics, but of course updated information um, in this regard, go ahead and click the subscription button and join the family. And if you're watching me again and again and again, I love you very, very much. And you always know that I bring the legit of the informations to you. All right, so today I want to share some information which I believe will help you and your study visa applications or a visitor's visa applications or permanent residency applications. So I'm just coming from the bus um, and I noticed something and I just wanted to couple it with the news that I just got yesterday from Marco Medicino, who is the Minister of Immigration to Canada. So I just came from the bus and I noticed that there was no such thing as social distancing, right? So um, everybody just sitting um, close to each other, not really considering what's going on. Um, but then, of course, they do have the mask. But that was yesterday, I, I believe. So yesterday, Marco Medicino came out and um, spoke about some changes to immigration policy and how visas will be processed. And this is particularly a good news for international students who had submitted their applications for the fall term and were um, uh, waiting for the decision of the immigration officers because they had they, they were yet to submit their biometrics right so there are some new changes to that based on the current system that will be used to process um, visas and so what the minister was simply saying is that he's implementing a two-phase or two-step um, validation process for visas especially for student visas he is saying that now they're going to be using something called a two-step verific not verification validation yeah two-step approval process to grant students a visa so the first step will be eligibility and he mentioned um, that you have a valid acceptance letter from a designated learning institution that's the first one and then the second one is you have the proof of funds and then you have demonstrated the other eligibilities whatever that is right then you will be granted um, a temporary acceptance to study online and once you uh, have started studying online if you study for a maximum of 50% of your course online and then when Canada eventually opens and you, you submit your biometrics your um, health was that medical exams and then your police certificate so you do not have any criminal convictions then you will get the full acceptance at that time and so it is only valid for people who applied before 15th of September and this is where I want to talk to you about what the opportunity right here is you see he's going to start the first um, acceptance he only spoke about three things he spoke about um, that's the designated learning institution letter of acceptance the proof of funds and then they just generalize every other thing as general eligibility and this is what I want to talk to you about all right you see historically when somebody received um, a request to do a medical examination almost always they got approved except if their medical examination came back with some inconsistencies right I just want to point out your um, your attention to the fact that this is almost the same scenario where refusals such as you do not prove to us that you will return to your home country are completely eliminated right because if they're looking at the first eligibility criteria he spoke about designated learning institution the second one proof of funds and so if you if you have um, paid your tuition fee for example I don't see them saying to you that you won't return to your home country when you will be studying online and then the second phase of the approval all that they ask you is to submit what your biometrics your medicals and then your um, a police certificate to show that you don't have any convictions and in my opinion 
if you pass the first stage which is usually the toughest stage into submitting biometrics medicals and police certificate you're almost guaranteed for a visa and so I encourage people I've always been saying that now is one of the best times to apply to come to study in Canada and I do not think that the winter sessions will be online because I'm telling you Canada is opening up they just recently announced the I think the third phase particularly Ontario the third phase of the opening strategy that they're using now uh, malls are open um, restaurants are open and many more facilities even the buses that were free before now people pay and then they are clustered together in the bus just to tell you that I think the fear of, of the COVID-19 stuff is get gradually um, uh, getting away and people are realizing yes that we got to get back to business as usual and again I'm encouraging you if you had filed in your application um, earlier this year I've always been saying that it's one of the best times because especially the proof to return to your home country or ties to home country I don't think they will be that strict on it this year coupled to the fact that I think there are fewer applications because people are thinking like is it the best time to apply is it not the best time to apply when is the best time to apply and I've always shared with you on my YouTube that when every other person is folding back and contracting that's where your opportunity is to expand okay so if you haven't filed your application yet I see insist that you should do it online why because the only concern that you might have had was what to show biometrics and now they're telling you biometrics are no longer required at, at least at, at now up until when every other person has the possibility to submit the biometrics or when your country opens up for you to submit the biometrics. and some other beautiful beautiful news again is he said that student visas will receive priority assessment right priority processing especially those for the fourth term just so that they can get over them before the the, the fourth term starts in September you see all which is good news for you great news for you and you can only have that not only have that technically but you can always have that account on my channel to provide you with the information and so if you haven't subscribed yet go right ahead and click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell because I definitely will be updating you as um, the situation progresses and just to share one more information with you because now it's COVID-19 and information will be popping up every now and then so you should always know that you should be ready to evolve with the information and take advantage of that information all right and so some of the informations that I do share with you I always tell you that I'm not an immigration agent I'm not an immigration consultant but I do have tremendous experience to share with you and I will always do my best to share with you what I know what happened to me just so that it doesn't happen to you refusal is not something that anybody should want to bear or invest a lot of money and um, have it go to waste all right and so um, keep investing in yourself get the information and worry about how you would get to Canada do not worry about whether you will pay your tuition how you will pay your tuition where the money will come from I'm telling you if you can get to Canada and get by for the first month every other thing will take care of itself and if you want to understand why I say that go watch my other videos and I'm very very convinced that it will encourage you and give you hope all right so keep watching and keep rising subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video